people, welcome to Revolution Wrestling Fan Song. We are here Fat at the Greasy Houston in the house. Shut Arena. Up, Big Red. Tell Fat me to shut Greasy up. Fatback Greasy in the house, shut up. I'm Fatback Greasy, I'm Sergeant at Arms. I'm the big boy. What? What's your problem? What's wrong with you? I don't... I'm the big boss man. I run the FYW. I run this show. That's right. The hearts of spades. We run this That's show. That's right. You got it now. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Now, I yeah, got you. you got it. I got That's you. That's right. We run, we run Revolution Rats. That's right. We run this place. That's right. You know what? People out there, sometimes I have to agree. Sometimes because... You know, boss man is sometimes right, sometimes fat back's wrong, sometimes fat back right, and sometimes boss man's wrong. Fat back's wrong all the time. Boss man's always there, see, right. See, there you go. There you go again. There goes boss man again. But but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Revolution Wrestling Fan Zone, the second episode of Re Revolution That's Wrestling right. Fan Zone. You saw the preview of New Horizons last week that we did? Yes. What did you think about the matches? That the uh, Ace of Ace, uh, Hearts of Space put on last week. We did good, didn't we? Did. We did. Fat we did. Bad Greasy because, won because, the belt because I'm the champ. That's right, you the champ. Because we run Revolution Wrestling. Uh, Houston says yeah. he runs it. Yeah, he don't but he, run nothing. Houston ain't. Houston is crazy. You know, he's gone. He's he been in the crazy house. Just got off of Bull Street. He, That's he bunch of bull. You know because what? we run this. We run Revolution Wrestling, and I want y'all to know it. And you know what? Something about this big red. I got something to say. What? Stupid Scott Anderson. Let me tell you something. I'm fat, bad, greasy. Okay. I took you out. Boss man took you out. We sent Samoan Joe out there. He put you in a wheelchair. Put, it, take you out and before Samoan Joe turned on us. That's right. He took him out because we sent him. Then he come back and he you wanted see, to turn you, on us. You see Anderson in a wheelchair. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. We took him out. Yeah. He's in the wheelchair. You can't do anything about it, Anderson. And you know what? You must have nine kitty cat lives because you, Anderson, you just keep coming back, coming back, coming back. What is wrong with you, Anderson? He's why like can't, the Energized Bunny. Why can't he just stay down and, and, and just be, hey, crazy Anderson? And you know what? He got up out of the wheelchair and give, and give Houston a chair. And gave Houston a chair. And, and, and he ain't nothing wrong with him. I mean, he was acting all along the whole entire the show. show. Anderson is. I'm going to have to show people the, the match. I want them to see it. You want, well, we'll have to get to the match in a little bit. That's right. In a little bit. That, we, we, that's right. I, I'm just upset because of what Anderson did. But anyway, we're going to have two exclusive matches right here at the Revolution Wrestling Fan Zone because this is the was the first show of Revolution Wrestling, Wrestling. and this is our second show. show. See, we up one up on This is what me and you, the boss man and Fatback put on. That's we, right. We run, we own the show, we run the show, and they do what we say to. They do what Fatback says. They do what I say. I'm they the say boss what man. I say. I'm the boss man. I'm sorry, so you know, I don't care. I'm sorry, you know. Little Red I'm said he. Little Red I'm said he's the vice you president. Are, I'm no, the, I'm sorry, you know. I'm, 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 you understand? I run this show. Whatever, whatever you say. But we're gonna we're gonna start the review of New Horizons, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Houston, the owner, founder, Revolution Wrestling. He opened the show. The and, founder. I found this show. What are you talking about? Anyway, and he said things are going to change. He threw both FYW championships in the trash and revealed the new Revolution Championship. Mike mentioned that Reggie, Reginald Bucks of the Third, is fired. Bugs Bunny. Right, the third. He fired Bugs Bunny. He's not Bugs Bunny. He's Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit the third and fourth. Where's the fifth and sixth? I don't know. What about, what about the Hamburglar? Where did he go? He wasn't here either. They fired the Hamburglar too? I don't know if he did or not. The Big Mac. He, he, didn't, mention, McDonald's. he didn't mention the Hamburglar. Oh. But anyway, well. he said he, Reggie was fired. And then he told Phoenix he has to earn his spot. Phoenix in, the Cat. In Revolution Wrestling. Yeah, Phoenix the Cat. He had to earn his spot. 
Yeah, and who, who is this? Uh, Mike Houston got to say that all these people got to earn, earn their spot, and, and, and he fired people. I'm the me. He, I'm the only one can fire people around here. Tell me about it, boss man. And and he fired. He uh, he told the music guy if he didn't do do the music right, he would fire him too. But anyway, mm -hmm. then his brother Kyle Cash came out. Yeah. You know, they used to be bad company tag team That's champs. right, that's right. Anyway, Cash came out and, and he told Mike that it wasn't all his, Mike's creation, it was their creation together. Well, so Mike said, no, it wasn't he thought of it all. He, he, was, he was it. So my, uh, Kyle then challenged Mike to a match for the Revolution Championship. Heavyweight Championship, Big Red, and guess what? Mike accepted so we're, our first match of the evening was Mike Houston versus Kyle Cash for the title. And uh, uh, Mike told the guy to ring the bell. And guess what happened? Kyle hit Mike with a super kick to win the Revolution Championship in five seconds. seconds. And that's, that's, that's out for Mike. Mike Houston, he's out. No more championship. No more championship. What do you think about that? I sent, I sent Kyle Cash to do that. Now, what you think about that? The big boss man did that. That's exactly right, boss man. And now we're going on to our second match of the night. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the exclusive, one of our exclusive matches. We're going to air right now, right here at the Revolution Wrestling Fan Zone. And it's going to be live from the Mike Houston Arena. Arena. And we're going to fix to go there now. It was Dustin Dynamite. Boom! Boom! Dynamite comes in Boom. small packages. Dynamite. Explosion. That's right. Explosion. He faced Adam Ward. Okay. He it's, come out of the he come out of mental ward. Psycho mental, ward. Psycho ward. I don't know. It, the it, hospital? Yeah, him and Psycho come out together, I reckon. He might have did. Yeah. Are yeah. they friends? Yeah, I believe they are. I, they room together in, in, in the hospital. At the mental hospital down Bull Street. Really? That's where Mike come from. Adam the Psycho Ward. Yeah, that's right. That, that's a good name right yeah. there, Adam the Psycho Ward. Yeah. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I just come up with a good name for him. Anyway, we're going to go live right here. But before we go live, the Dynamite, uh, the reason he challenged Adam Ward, because Adam Ward helped uh, Dustin last month at uh, Front Yard Mania to win the title in the bank briefcase but then Adam Ward turned on him in the in later in the night you remember yeah, that he, he, so he, he something something so this something went crazy in his mind this so, match has been a, this match has been a month build up right here and we're going to see what's going to happen right here tonight on Revolution Wrestling Fan Zone and we're going to go live right now to the Mike Houston Arena live in Chicago Illinois run it OBB run it OAB what a kickoff we had Mike Houston coming out as the new Revolution Champion, Kyle Cash, beating him for the belt. What a shocker, what a kickoff. And here we go with our opening match. I'm all coked up as you can tell. No longer FYW, Revolution Wrestling, I'm loving it. And here comes a cocky young man by the name of Adam Ward. There he is, look at him. He is ready. Look at this ring. He's got to be on cloud nine. The youngest man on the roster. Full of charisma, full of attitude. He's taunting the fans. And look at this ring. Cocaine Kelly's loving it. I want to get in there. A lot better than the trampoline, huh, folks? And his opponent, Mr. Title in the Bank, Dustin Dynamite. We saw Adam help out Dustin at Front Yard Mania, but now these two hate each other, and they're going to face off in the ring. And here he comes. Many who believe is the next world champion. He can cast that in at any time. I have it. It's going to be mine. After me.
This should be one hell of a match. Here we go. Here we go, we're starting off. Couple shots. This should be one hell of a match. Two young guys going at it to prove who's better. Could Adam Ward have been title in the bank? Maybe. But Dustin Dynamite did win that match. And now he just wants to prove to Adam that he can beat him. Wow, what a kick. Shake and bake joint in your hair. Okay, Kelly. Now, here we go. We're about set for our opening contest. Well, technically the second match of the night with that uh, crazy opener we had. Dynamite and Ward. This is building off Front Yard Mania 8. Where Ward gave Dynamite a hand in winning the briefcase. Oh, big kick to the head. Oh, uh, what's he going for here? All uh, ready to start this up. Looked like Dynamite was going for a superplex. Word countered and a cover. To, oh, about a one and a half. Dynamite to the ropes. Word with the big double A spine buster. Oh, big time. Irish whipping in the corner. Now this is Revolution Wrestling's first show here. And we're gonna do our best to give you one hell of a show. And these two young stars, these two young guns are out here proving why they're the future of Revolution Wrestling. Nice suplex sir, by Ward. Oh. Wait a minute. Samoan drop. Now I'm not sure where the hell Cocaine Kelly went. And Dynamite going after Ward with those kicks. Oh! Almost a Death Valley driver there. And here comes Cocaine Kelly. Where the hell were you? Oh, I bet I had to go on a quick run. You know, I'm all coked up, all excited. But like I said, this is one of those great matches. You're not going to want to miss one hell of an opener. This match is probably a pop. Ah. They've got to prove. Does Dynamite really deserved that briefcase and with the win or the word tonight he'll prove that he does deserve to be Adam thinks match. he can't beat him Adam thinks he won that match because of him but Dustin wants to prove to him he can beat him he's going to shut him up he may but if Ward gets a win then maybe you know he proves that he deserves that briefcase. He may want to come after the briefcase. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. I mean, with a smart move to a young guy. Oh, oh. We could hear that from down the street. And a pin. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Is, in the Is he going to tap? Oh. He's fading out. Oh. He could be fading here. I think he did. Oh, Check no him, way. ref. Wait a minute. Uh, uh. Wait a minute. How is he going to check him when he's got both arms? <laughs> I have no idea. That's a good question. But Maybe out, give him a wet willow. That might wake him up. 
all of the fans oh, online, on YouTube, on Facebook, they have been so excited for this show. Oh, yeah. We had to do it either way. How long has it been? A couple months? Yeah, we've been we were dealing with weather issues yesterday, but today we were the show will go on. It's New Horizons weekend. No. Now they're out here by the fans. Three. They better watch out. Ah. Four. Oh. Four. Four. Whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit! Hey. Now the crowd's getting into it. They gotta love that. Oh, wait. wait. Dustin, fans Dustin broke up the count. So long. One. Think Dustin broke up that count. Two. Yeah, they gotta be go. with that ten count. Three. Come on, go on. Right? Five. I don't know. You tell me. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Watch One out. out of seven. In your house. Word breaks the count. They're getting up close and personal One. with the fans today. Two. Oh, oh, look at that oh. kick. One. Beautiful. Two. What's he going for? Adam, he's going for something. Oh, oh. what's this? Oh, I got to catch this. I don't want to miss this. He's going for something. Is he gonna... Oh, leg drop onto that rope, and these ropes are tight, let me assure you. They hurt. Oh, oh nice springboard, leg drop. leg drop, very nice. Pin. One, two, two count. Into the turnbuckle. Here it comes forward like a... Oh! Like a free train. Ran him over. over. And this, that could have been over. And Young kid Ward, ain't thinking he could have pinned barefoot him. barefoot under those kick pads. Yeah, he's barefoot. He's wrestling like Snooka. And speaking of Snooka, there's a super Big splash. splash for you. Very nice. He's, he's been watching tape. Two. Oh, oh just a two. Dynamite. 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 Ward says it's over. Oh, he grapevined him. Oh, wow. That was awesome, let me tell you. What a kickoff. One hell of an opening match here at New Horizons. New Horizons? Yeah. Here's your New Horizons. There's just a little bit of what to expect tonight. Now, fans, like I said, we're giving you a show either way, but we are only just beginning here. At revolution. This is just the start it's of the only revolution. It's going to get sweeter and sweeter. Especially now that we got a new world champ, Kyle Cash. Got to wonder what's up. Wait, Dustin's on top. Oh, went for a kick. We're going for another spear and both men are down. Yeah, Kyle Cash telling Mike Houston, this isn't all about him. Mike's trying to take all the credit. This is about everybody. This is their revolution. And Mike disagreed. He said this is all his hard work. And he, he got kicked in the teeth for it. Yeah. And lost his belt. It didn't work out so well for him. Oh, oh, oh. look at that slam. And a cover. Nice. He's going to have a headache tonight. Wait a minute. Or is he going for a... Oh. Just... Oh. Oh. Shot of that. Ward has been so impressive. Dustin as well. Both of these rookies are no longer rookies in my eyes. They want to hang with the big dogs in Revolution Wrestling. I'll help you out. He's going for something here. Oh, a test of strength? Oh, he gets kicked in the head for it. Don't get cocky, punk! Take your feet over here! Oh. Stay on mute. Come on! And Dustin, what is he going for? What a match so far. Oh, he reversed it. What a reversal. Come on! Dustin's got a headlock locked in. Headlock takeover. Uh, 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 
these Dustin's two trying to going, overpower him. They've been going hard. He thinks he's strong. I think I'm a little stronger. Oh. Ah. 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 Right out here in front Big of us. Big kicks. What's he doing? Oh, no. Oh. DDT. What a DDT! Ward is scrambled here. Oh, he's holding on to that rope. He's going for another spine buster into the corner. Oh, look at these spears. He moved out of the way. Dustin's got to finish. Dustin's got to finish him. Ward, he looks scrambled. He's going to finish him. He's got to do it. He's setting them he up. Oh, big oh kick. God, what a kick. The Headbird's Roundhouse, he calls it his finisher. And what is he setting him up for? Putting him in the middle of the ring. You might want to get a good shot of this. Oh, I'm getting it. Cocaine Keller will not miss it. What is he? What's he going for here? Six, six, 30 splash. And he kicked out? He kicked out, how did he, he pinned him again. Three. And Dustin Dynamite wins, Ward kicked out, but Dustin was able to hold him down for the pin. That shows a lot for Adam Ward, he was trying to hang in there. And the winner of this match is Dustin. Dynamite! Mr. Title in the bank! Ward is down. Take that! 6.30 mad. I'm the greatest high flyer! 6.30 splash! And he did nail that 6.30 splash. Dustin Dynamite, what a match! What a kickoff here at New Horizons, and the fans loved it. Oh, Ward's got, oh, he's got to be out of it. He can't, couldn't even think straight. Yeah, he's out of it. That's what he gets for messing with Dustin Dunn. I told you, anyone that comes to my path, I will destroy. It's Dynamite's purpose. New Revolution champion. Could he be going after it in the future? I think so. We'll be back here at New Horizons. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see that match? That was crazy. That was a crazy match. Yeah, that did, psycho war, man. Did you, see, did you see who the commentators were? Yeah. It was Coconut Kelly, Cocaine mm, Kelly, Kelly, and Shake and Bake. Shake and Bake. Because yeah. they, they mentioned that Phil in the Blanks was not there tonight. Yeah, he wasn't there. Phil Neither the was. Hold on. Because he... He didn't make good on his kindergarten test. He failed. That's why he couldn't be there. He failed his test. Really? That's right. He didn't make it. He, he, didn't, he didn't make good on his test. He made an F on his test, and he can't. And the teacher made him stay after school. Really? Yeah. I heard he made a zero. Yeah, made a zero. Didn't get nothing right. He didn't, get nothing he didn't right. even get. He didn't even get the. I, I got exclusive information, ladies and gentlemen. I want to tell everybody. That's right. I got exclusive. Yeah. He missed a question. The question was, how many, what does it take to win in professional wrestling? Yeah. Three. Three count. Yeah. He couldn't even get three count. He said ten count. That's a, that's a, that's a outside disqualification. Well, he didn't, he didn't, he can't count to three. That's why he failed his test. And that's why his teacher kept him, that's why his teacher kept him uh, after school and overnight. They're on his ABCs. Must did, must did, uh, boss man. But anyway, uh, did you during the match? Uh, Dustin hit the 360 splash for the win. Yeah. That was one wicked 360 splash. That was. It was good. It was a good match. But anyway, we're going on to the third match of the evening. It was Twisted Wicked Jay. He's wicked. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and he faced Andrew Jones with his manager, Junior. Junior. Yes. And guess who refed this match? Who refed it? Super ref. Super ref. That's right. Super ref. Ref. That's, That's right. right. He likes stripes. Yeah, he likes stripes. Anyway, 
Uh, this is what happened. Twisted Wick and Jay won the match with the TKO. Uh, Andrew Jones, he, he, his manager, Jr., tried to get involved, but it didn't work. He hit him with a bell. No, he didn't hit him with a bell. TKO. He seen bells. No, he won a TKO. Ding dong. Wicked J hit a TKO for the win. Avon called him. Really? Yeah. Ding dong. Oh, oh well. Anyway, it might be Dr. Stanky. Might be Dr. Stanky. But anyway. He's bad about coming over there stanking up the place. I agree. I agree with that, uh, uh, boss man. But before we go on to the fourth match, what do you think of the refs in, uh, now in, in Revolution Wrestling? Uh, super ref? Yeah, Super Ref. I, I, I think I just like Super Ref better. I do too. I like Super Ref. Hey, you know that, I like, he likes stripes. Yeah, he likes stripes. He looked like he'd been on Chain Gang. That's where he's from. He, they went to the uh, Chain Gang and they got him out of jail. You know what he done? What'd he do? He, he, um, he was the Chainsaw Massacre. Really? Yeah, yeah. he sawed up people yeah. and they just brought him out to be the referee. But he, he got to straighten up something. Cause I'm gonna fire him if he don't. Really? Yeah. That's good, then, Bob. Yeah, he, he was on chain game. Really? Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, boss man, that's super ref, and they, and I heard what happened to the ref before we go on. What happened to that ref? I had to use the bathroom. He went to the bathroom. Did he ever come back? No, never didn't make it back yet. He's still in the bathroom. Yeah, he's still in the he's still out in the house. I ain't saw him yet. Yeah, he's still the doubt. But anyway, Andrew Jones in this match, he, he reminded me of that baseball player called Andrew Jones. He, he wrestled on the um, Atlanta Braves. Wrestled. Play baseball. Yeah. Anyway, they probably Play wrestled. football, Black. Uh, I'm, black. You call me Black Jack? Yeah, you, you look like a Black Jack. I'm not Black Jack. I'm Fat Back Greasy. I eat, I eat all kind of greasy stuff. Yeah, greasy okay. hamburger, greasy everything. Does, greasy uh, pizza. Shake, shake and bake them, make you greasy chicken. He sure does. He does. Yeah, he does. But anyway, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We, we uh, went been off smoking, topic here. You've been but smoking he, some coconut kelly? No, I haven't, boss man. But anyway, we, we done got off topic here. We're going to the fourth match of the evening. It was a... The red drop. He'd been drinking. Well, you better leave him alone. He he needs to he Go needs to, to sleep, rest. little red. He he needs to rest, boss man. We had a triple threat tag team match. Okay, Mike Houston. <coughs> yeah, greasy yeah. stuff. Anyway, Mike Houston came out and said this match will be for the vacant tag team titles because he fired Reginald because Reginald and the Hamburglar were the tag team. He champs. can't he can't fire Reginald. Reginald can't be fired because I'm the one that does the firing around here, not Mike Houston. Well, he's fired, but anyway. OAB and it was OAB and Rikazi versus the Depot team. The Depot team. They get they got them from Home Depot or they get them from the Drunk oh, Depot. Dr the where? The Drunk Depot. Drunk Depot. Yeah. They might have got them from both. Now, I, I think they did. I think they did too. The it, smart, uh, smart bugs. That, uh, that announcer, that, uh, what's that announcer name? Kaseko Fieldhouse. No, he, he didn't make it. Uh, yeah, he didn't make it. Uh, Cocaine Kelly, no, Shaking Bay, no, Admiral Angry. Because no, no. he's angry. Because he's angry. He wasn't there either. He wasn't there either. Yeah. They all they all went on uh, in the drunk tank. Any, anyway, anyway, hold on a minute. Uh, they also faced. SpongeBob Sparky. Really? Who's that? That's the other one. SpongeBob SquarePants? No. SpongeBob Sparky. Yeah, whatever his name is. Anyway. Drunk Bob Sparky. Oh, I know who you're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. We have to mention, we totally forgot about all the announcers here but one. Yeah. And that is Punch Drunk Polly. Yeah. We want to give you a shout out out there, Punch Drunk Polly. You the man. You the man. You need, let me tell you something. He Next, wasn't there either. He wasn't there because he you was know drunk. Why, you know why he wasn't there? He was at rehab? No, he wasn't at rehab. He was in drunk tank. Really? Drunk, yeah. drunk tank? Yeah. That, that popo went and got him. Really? He was at the depot and uh, he got in a fight and he thought he was in a wrestling match and they didn't, they knocked him out. Really? And, uh, so the police put him in the drunk tank. He probably liked that. Yeah. He got drunk in the tank. No, he he swam in the tank. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, he he was in a anyway we wanted to give Punch Drunk Polly 
uh, shout out there. Cause he, he's kind of cool. I think what he needs to happen, he needs to go to uh, the next show. He needs to face Admiral Angry, Shaking Bake, Bake feeling the Bake. blank. Uh, anyway, we'll get to that at the yeah, end of the show. Yeah, we'll we'll talk that about that. Show. But anyway, we had the Depot team, uh, three-way, OAB, Rikazi versus the Depot team. They called another name, but I done forgot. Dummy me. But anyway, they face, uh, hold on a minute, Uncle Cletus and Jenny came out. Jenny, they yeah, haven't Uncle been Cletus. in years. I think, he was, I think he's kin to um, Billy Bob, that hit Billy. You know, it's on the... On the on uh on the show on the TNA fan zone, it came to that Billy Bob. Yeah, you know, I don't think so. I no. think it's more of Hillbilly J that he we Billy took Jay. out in the dumpster. Oh yeah, that Hillbilly. It's that, more him they, they than anything in the dumpster. because uh, he's like yeah, yeah, that, he's fat. Yeah, them stupid Hillbilly. Hillbilly J's I fat. I don't, what are they doing with him, my boy? The Hillbillies in Chicago. Chicago's a damn burn big city. He no. He knows I don't, Billy. I don't know, but Uncle Cletus came out with Aunt Jenny, and he said he said for Bubba Ray and Bobby Joe to get their butts out there. And I thought Bubba Ray was uh, in TNA. He he that ain't the Bubba Ray I know. Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe. Is he one of them Joe brothers? He might be. Two stupid fans on man. I, I'm tired of these Joes. I ain't lying. You know, all these Joe brothers. But anyway, that they, they called the Daniels clan. And the Daniels clan? Yeah. A little more like the hillbilly clan. But anyway, um... Look like a bunch of hillbillies, you ask me. And that, and that Uncle Cletus or whatever. Uh, he had like, he he don't even know where he at. I don't know where, where his cows and his figs and his... And his goats are. He should have brought in with him. Must he should have. But anyway, this is what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Bubba, and then Grandma was with him. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Aunt Jenny. Yeah, Grandma. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. But but anyway, it was Bubba Ray. She's making grits. Really? She's over stirring up grits. Well then. Anyway, hold on a minute. It was Bubba Ray and Bobby Joe. They hit a double choke slam. Uh, uh, to become the new tag team revolution champions. Uh, that's crazy. The Hillbilly Clans champs. Yep. I Stole them from the Buxley brothers. Buxley brothers didn't even have a chance because of the founder, Mike Houston. They weren't even there. How did they have a chance? I know. That's what I'm saying. He took that ain't them away. Right. That ain't but I'll right. tell you what that I'm going right. to do. Just... You know what I'm going to do? What you going to do? I'm going I'm going to make a match with the Buckley brothers. And and and, and uh, Bugs Bunny and uh, Hamburger to get their belts back. I'm gonna make a match right now, and Houston's gonna do it too. Because if he don't, I'm gonna get mad to just. Is that right? Go ahead. Yeah. You tell Houston. Houston, Go ahead. you you they gonna get a rematch because they weren't even there. And if you don't do it, I'm coming for you. That's exactly right. The Tell hearts of space. Bag. The hearts the, of space. The hearts of space. Fat bag greasy sergeant in arms. I will come. We're coming for you. And you don't want that. And you don't want that, stupid uh, founder Mike Houston. And uh, and and you just crazy. You think you own the joint? You know what? You didn't own nothing. If Kyle Cash and you, you created a company, and y'all y'all need to get back together because y'all are the best tag team in the world. That's my agreement right there. Because we run the uh, Revolution Wrestling. We run this show. That's right. We run it. So, Mike Houston, we're coming for you. But anyway, we're going on to our... Just event. give us time to get there. Yeah. Let me get on Jimmy Jack's jet right here. Jimmy Jack jet, you hear it? Next match. Well, yeah, that's Jimmy Jack. Jack Jack. He's gonna land over here on the side. Yeah, we're gonna get on the plane. We're going to Chicago, Illinois, and Jimmy Jack gonna help us. That's right. Anyway, we're going on to the fifth match of the evening. It was a rematch for the American Championship. Let's Lex Lex Rock. I didn't told that Lex Rock. I've been in rock and roll. You did. Yes, yeah, I've been did. in rock and roll. He don't even know what rock and roll is. Yeah, I understand. You understand? I understand that. He faced Jeff Hickman. Uh, Jeff Hickman, didn't, he didn't even get a chance last month either. They had Jimmy Jack Daniels come out, have his belt and everything. That's right. He said he, he, he dumped Jeff Hickman in the dumpster somewhere. Uh, I think they took the, uh, they, that Jimmy Jack uh, got the idea from us because we dumped him, Billy J, in the dumpster. That's right. We're not telling nobody where he's at. Yeah, nobody. But anyway... Uh, we're going. We're going to talk about this match. 
it was uh, Rocker hit his finisher to retain the American Championship. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good match. A good match. I, I, Hickman tried, he tried his best to win, but it just didn't happen. But anyway, we're going to the sixth match of the evening. Yeah. A lot of matches, match, a lot of matches. It was Brian Phoenix. Kitty versus Cat. Yeah, the, the, um, Tom Cat. Tom Jerry. Yeah, Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Phoenix the Cat. Right. Right. Versus Prodigy Snake. Yeah, Porterhouse Snake. That's right. He likes... Uh, he likes Porterhouse. Yeah, he's Porterhouse. Steaks. Steaks, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, this was a nine... He owns a Porterhouse Steaks house. He does? Can yeah. I go? Yeah, you can go. Can I, can I get some free steaks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on me. For real? Yeah. You being nice to me yeah. on Port, this show, own, boss man. Yeah, I own the steakhouse. Porterhouse does the cooking. He's general manager. No, he cooks. Oh, he don't? He's the cooker. Oh, is he good at it? No, cooking? he burns. He burns them. I don't want none of them snakes. But snakes? Steaks? Yeah. Anyway, it was a non-title match because Mike Houston told Phoenix he had to earn his spot. So Mike Houston and, the, and this is what happened. Mike Houston and the Daniels clan came out, beat up both Phoenix and Prodigy Snake. Mike hit a wicked chair shot on Prodigy Snake, and he told, Mike told Uncle Cletus it was nice doing business with him. That stupid hit, Billy, Uncle Cletus, he ain't got no money. He had to get some money to go buy him a hamburger. Really? The hamburger wouldn't give my hamburger. Because he wasn't there. Because he wasn't there. And, and did you hear what Uncle Cletus said? What? He said that uh, uh, Jimmy is coming for uh, Phoenix. Jimmy. Jimmy Jack Snake? Yeah. Oh, okay. He said Jimmy is coming for um, Prodigy Snake and Brian Phoenix. And, and Brian Phoenix. Yeah. He said that Jimmy couldn't be there because he's in county. He said, oh, he's in the county. Yeah, you know, where they, he's in. Chain, he's on the chain game. Really? Yeah, he, I, uh, yeah, he's on the chain game. He, he knows super ref. Yeah, yeah, he knows super ref. They want them from the chain game. Really? Yeah, that's where they go. That's where they live at on the chain game. That's pretty good right yeah, there, ain't that's it? That's right. But uh, anyway, we're going now to our seventh match, our main event of the evening, because earlier in the show, Mike Houston said that he's going to face. Kyle made his own match to face Kyle Cash. He, he took his rematch clause because he wants his belt back. You know something? He, you know, he was out there and and, and, and during that during but that no, whole show, I'm, I'm, he was making rules as he goes along. Exactly. And he can't do that no. because the big boss man wasn't there. Big boss man couldn't make it that day, but the big boss man gonna make it next time. Yeah, because I run the show and they gonna do what I say do. Exactly. And we're sorry, all Hearts of Space fans that went to New Horizons and we couldn't make, make it. it. We out had there. prior uh, arrangements, agreements. We had a we had a big uh, big autograph signing Dining in Charlotte, right. North Carolina. Carolina. We just couldn't make it. Well I mean everybody in Charlotte wanted to see the Hearts of Spades and it's just, it was crazy there boss Yeah man. it was it was crazy. We're sorry we couldn't make the match at Houston Arena but Mike Houston don't run the show the big boss man and fat back we run the, we show. Run the show we run revolution wrestling and don't y'all forget that so right now it's sort of the main event and we're going to go live back to chicago the illinois noise. to the mike houston arena that's right ladies and gentlemen kyle cash defending the revolution heavyweight championship against mike houston in a rematch right now live uh oab run, run it Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time at New Horizons. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Consego Fieldhouse, the shooter of Revolution Wrestling in more ways than one, if I may say. And here is the the former champion. Mike Houston with a sour attitude here tonight. This is mine! He started the day as the 
two-time champion of Revolution Wrestling and will now attempt to be a two-time champion and only the first show in existence. That's something to think about. And he'll be going up against an individual who he's got a storied history. The current reigning, defending Revolution Wrestling Champion. And there he is! Let's hear it! This crowd is jam-packed with furniture. Looks like I'll be going solo commentating this match, ladies and gentlemen. But I have stoked for this one. I guess it's only fitting that in the first show of Revolution Wrestling, that it will be brother versus brother. We've seen Mike Houston today get involved with the Daniels family in that match between Brian Phoenix and Prodigy Snake. Referee for this match, Jason the Terrible, official. <laughs> and there it is. Hey, look, it's the, the new championship match. Who the hell are you? Doesn't matter who the hell I am. Well, I guess change the plans, folks. I'm not commentating this one solo after all. <laughs> what are you, that guy, Junior? Maybe. The bell that, sounds, and here we go. Come on. I think Mike Houston uh, wants some revenge from the cheap blow that he calls it from the beginning of the show here. I'm a little surprised. I really thought Mike Houston be, would be a little, little uneasy going into this match, considering what happened earlier. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Then again, these two know each other very, very well. Hell, they were raised together. I'm surprised it's not. Kyle Arnold will tie up in the middle, and Kyle Cash taking advantage early with that side headlock. Houston counters into an arm wrench and a side headlock of his own. We can see a lot of reversals in this match. I think we're going to see a lot of that oh. throughout the whole entire match. Nice takedown. I would clap if I had a free hand. <laughs> Is that why they call him that? <laughs> I think so. Use him with a flurry of blows here. Gonna run off the ropes. Here he comes. Oh! Come on! This is your oh, I wonder if he's getting nervous yet. I'm surprised not just getting in there attacking the heck out of him. Kyle Cash there. A little surprised he's not getting in the ring either because we know how much he likes to have the spotlight on him. Man, he just yelling at the crowd, telling kids to shut up. Oh. I think I just think Mike Houston, maybe, maybe he's a little understood. I oh. could be wrong, but drop kick to the knee, Houston to the outside. One. For those of you who picked this match to start off with in Revolution Wrestling, you're not you're not Three. seeing things. This isn't a, this is an actual Four. wrestling ring. Four. Ropes, turnbuckles, everything. Four. Even a referee. The match almost went to a count out. That would have been a Kyle Cash taking control of the match right now. Yes, he is. He almost got, they almost got themselves counted out though early. Oh! I guess we spoke too soon. Houston countering him off the top rope. Went for a clothesline. Nice elbow by Houston. Just remind the folks how this happened earlier tonight, the beginning of the show. Kyle Cash came out and called his, his brother out on what he's been doing. Yeah, I, I wasn't here earlier in the show, so I, I have no idea other than what I've just been informed of is the fact that Kyle Cash beat Houston to win the championship at the, at the top of the show. Yeah, it was just uh, very quick, just no. kicked to the face to Houston, and it was over, that was it. Yep. 
actually got here during the uh, the Phoenix Prodigy Snake match. But it's, it's still it, it still kind of befuddles me a little bit that it's your first big show. You want to make a statement. You're going to put two guys of that caliber in the ring together, and you're not going to put the title on the line. I'm just I'm highly surprised as well. I mean, Phoenix just returned from injury. Prodigy Snake did that House of Hardcore match, and then the match doesn't even end. Fairly, Mike Houston comes out, beats both of them with the chair. The Daniels family comes out and just assaults both of them. After Houston says you're going to have to earn your title shot. Well, I ask you this. How is anybody supposed to earn anything when things like that are happening in the ring? Well, you have, you have to remember, Mike Houston turned on Brian Phoenix at Mania. So he probably, with him being the one calling the shots, he didn't want Phoenix to have that yeah. title shot in and, the first place. And you got to... And I know that Phoenix could not have seen that coming because he went into that match knowing that he was supposed to be a part of that main event, but due to injury, he couldn't physically compete. So he put he put himself in the referee spot, and they okayed it. And then just as soon as the match ends, Houston blasts him with a chair and just burns the trampoline down. The actions of Mike Houston as of lately have just been... Out of nowhere, he came into the, the mania, ready to go. Uh-oh, he went for that go to sleep. One. I used to I used to think I knew what Houston was all about. I thought I had him figured out, but he's really disappointed me. A lot of fans are just... Oh! Houston has a problem, is what they like to say nowadays. Yep. Two! Shut up! Pull it down! Four! Did that referee just say eat me? One! I, I believe he did. <laughs> Two! That's just that's the kind of that's the kind of things that might be Houston hires around here. Everything's just well, we, twisted. Four. He's got the authority to hire, but he's also got the authority to fire. The government may be in shutdown and the FCC may not be involved. I'm not hundred percent sure on that yet. But Mike Houston is not government funded. Another thing to remember is earlier when Kyle Cash offered the challenge to Houston for his belt, if Kyle would have lost earlier this morning, then he would have been gone from Revolution Wrestling forever. That is true, and just just as the Revolution Wrestling era is kicking off, he could find himself not a part of it. But he pulled it off, and now he's here still. Yep. As far as I know, we also have a nice T-bone flex by Kyle Cash. As far as I know, we have new tag team champions today, is that correct? Yes, we do. The uh, Daniels clan actually came today and yep. are the new tag team champions. Yep, that was their entering debut here, the Daniels. We've seen uh, Cletus, we've seen Jimmy Jack Daniels, but we've never seen those men in the masks. Nice clothesline in the corner by Cash. Houston looks a little wobbly. Cash up top. Nice clothesline. Cash looking to retain the championship. One, two. Cash is in control here. Trying to put away Houston. Trying to score one against the boss here at New Horizons. Houston in the corner. Nice running knee. And a bulldog. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> oh, a little Houston, technical difficulties going on. Houston up top. Could be going for that flying head, but uh, nope. Houston nailed the flying head, but on Reginald Buxley the third at Frank Romania off the shed here at ringside. Nice drop kick by Cash. Cash is probably a little more technically sound of the two. Houston is uh, a brawler. He likes to refer to himself hardcore Mike Houston. Nice power slam. And he goes for the cover. And a two count. And now he's got him. Middle of the ring, Boston Crab. Looking for that submission. And how big would that be if, if, he, could, if he could make Houston tap out at his first big show? No, he got him to the ropes. I mean, I'm sure Houston's not going to like what I have to say, but I've never been one uh, to quiet down in <laughs> in the face of my boss. No, and 
And I think that there's a lot of people backstage on the roster that are afraid to voice their opinion because of Mike Houston, the way he's talking and the way he's acting. They might be afraid of losing their jobs if they well, step on a line. Well, from what I saw when Houston or when Phoenix barged in on Houston's office, it didn't sound like Phoenix was watching what he had to say. Looks like he's got a serious problem. Another another thing you gotta be able to remember is, is Mike Houston has already fired Reginald tonight. Is that right? Yeah, that's why the oh big, the tag, the tag team title is the game. What is Houston doing? He's going for a chair. No. Why would Houston want to get himself disqualified in a heavyweight championship match? I'm not quite sure on how, what he was thinking. There. Nice drop kick in the corner. Sorry, go ahead. No, I don't know why he would want to get disqualified, like you said. Come on! I think I think his head's not in the right place tonight. There's no there's no way he's thinking logically right now. Well, let's put it this way: Does Mike Houston ever think logically? Well, he did. Late? No, not even close. Ever since me, he's never really quite been there. Yep. He's just fueled by rage and probably other things. Oh, went for a power bomb in the corner. He's trying to fight it. No. Oh. Yeah. And a crossbody in the corner. Here's the cover. Could we have a new champion? No. Kyle Cash gets down again. What do you say? No. Mike Houston trying to get Kyle Cash to tap here. Oh, yeah. He would love to make Cash tap Cash after the history they had. There was a long time back in the FYW days where Kyle Cash actually never lost to Houston for the longest time. It was at Bray Yard Mania uh, 7 that he actually scored a victory over Cash. He didn't pin him, but he did win the match. So if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but I, don't, I do not believe Houston has ever pinned his brother. Nice power bomb. Well, they started this year as the tag team champions. We thought they had finally bad company. Yeah. They were they were rolling great. Yeah, we thought that they'd put all their past behind them. That they were gonna that they were gonna team up. They were gonna be fine. And then now they're right back to where they were, fighting over championships. They probably held more championships in F uh, in the FYC days than anybody else. And I guess, like he said, with Revolution Wrestling in, oh, throws him into the sh post shoulder first. Here's a cover. Wait a minute. The referee almost missed that. Wait, now Cash to the roll up. There's a roll. Mike Houston kicks out again. Here I am trying to bring in backstory for the fans. I'm missing big parts of the match. Jack Knight pin. Knight counters. They're fighting over position. Pinfall after pinfall. He goes, Houston go for a backdrop. Kyle Cash trying to do a roll up. But Houston getting to the ropes. I can't even keep up with the action. Oh, he goes through that bro kick. Oh, Cash with an insiguri. It's my only match commentating this afternoon. I'm already losing my voice. Yeah, that tends to happen. Oh no, he's going for that cash cutter. Gonna make change off of Houston, but no, Houston retreating to the outside. Oh! Okay. One. Houston's going for a jog? Two. Not the best time for that. Oh, he grabbed the chair again. What is Houston doing? Does he realize that this... He's gonna get himself disqualified. He won't even have the belt back. What is... Wait a minute. What's he doing? Oh! Wait! Wait. Don't ah. even think about ringing that bell. Ah. You do? You're fired! What? What is what is this? this? Is he, he's fired. No DQ it, match. He just changed it to a no DQ match. In the middle he's, of a match? How does come that work? On. He's making the rules up he goes as he goes along. Went for another chair shot. Cash keeps oh, dodging him. Oh! oh. Right well, if he's gonna change it to no DQ match, that shit works both ways. I think he was just hoping to ah. get it done oh. now and be done. Oh. Probably gonna, threatening, I'm probably threatening gonna the get, rap to be fired. Probably gonna oh. get fined for saying that one. <laughs> oh.
for swearing on camera. Hey, yeah. YouTube allows it. Yeah. Hey, if YouTube's allows it, why not? I don't know, with the way Houston's thinking, cash the chair shot of his own. Oh, Kyle Cassie in the chair up in the corner. Oh no. Oh, he's got a problem. Oh no. What is he doing? Oh! Cash drop kicks the chair right into Houston's face. And Cash is in total control here. Bulldog on the chair. This has got to be it. This has got to be all. One, two, he kicked out. Both men very exhausted here. Don't know what to do. One, two. What a fight. And I use the term fight. This isn't a wrestling match anymore. This is a brawl. Two brothers fighting over the championship. And not only, I don't think it's just about the champion. I think it's just a statement overall that Kyle Cash is trying to show his brother that. Oh! They're slapping each other. Just like brothers, slapping each other. Kicked by Cash. That clothesline. Oh, nice spine buster. Cash has got him right where he needs him. But he cannot secure the pinfall. Looks like Cash is going up top. He likes to use the frog splash. Oh! And he nails him with it. No! Still not enough to keep Houston down. Houston just will not give up. He said that is one of Cash's signature maneuvers. And he's got him in the ankle lock. Ankle lock in the center of the ring. He wants to make him tap. Can Houston pull out? Can he get it? What is he? He's reaching for the referee. He's reaching for anything he can. Oh, he's yeah. the referee to grab the ropes. Wow. Cash nearly had that match won. Back with the chair again. Makes you think if, if it wasn't for the, uh, him pulling the ref, could he have made it to the ropes? Kyle Cash saying that this is it. This is it after this right here. Oh! oh he, misses. he was swinging for the fences oh. on that one. Bro kick. Mike Houston used the chair again. Kicks that chair right back at him. And now, what's he going to go for now? Oh no, stroke! Oh! Under the chair. I don't think he got all of it. It looks like Cash might have landed ribs first on the chair. Oh no, he's attacking those ribs. I don't think it was a knockout blow, just more or less something to think about. Oh. And now, reminiscent to the match earlier today, Houston is swinging away with that steel chair. Oh, he threw the chair at him. I agree. Oh, elbow to the outside. Now correct me if I'm wrong, Houston said no disqualification, is that right? That's correct. Which means there's no count out. Yeah, but it looks like the ref's just letting it go. He should have tried pile drive him on the outside. Oh! That has to hurt. Oh. Oh. And now, oh my god. Top of the it's a long way up. You ain't using that. 
Oh, he caught the chair. What is he doing? Oh! oh. Land, land on top of Houston. No disqualification. Ah! Ah! Get out here, ref! No! Ah! Ah! Where's the Houston gonna go? Where's the Houston like gonna go? Ah. Wait, does it, is the Tampa gonna count on the outside? I, I, I don't ah. believe it. You're damn right, it counts. Ah. <laughs> well, screw it. If Cash says it's good, then what the hell? That's, I'd rather go That's good enough for me. I don't know what's going on. Oh! oh! Good God. Lights out with the steel chair. And this match is still not over. Oh! oh. It's not the first time Houston's been spit on in a match. Don't get excited. Don't judge ah! me. No judging here. Oh no. And Houston is going for that big ah! flying headbutt. Ah! Three quarters of the way across the ring. Ah! One, ah! two, no! Ah! Ah! Three! Two! Three! Two! Okay. So, the owner says three, the official said two. Oh no. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, and Cash gets out of it. Oh! But remember, that's the same move. The super. That Cash used earlier to the, beat Houston. The super duper kick. Can Cash get over in time to make the pin? When Cash nails people with that super kick. There That's got to be it. He got no. oh. This? Houston just in time grabbed the rope. Houston able to know that he was near the ropes and saved oh. Double, double close line. Save that match and both, both men, men are down. down. What 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 the hell is this? What the hell? Scott Anderson's getting wheeled out to the ring. Scott He's coming out all night. <laughs> Scott coming out, being wheeled out in the and wheelchair. By, 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 by Adam Ward. I, what, what's going on? I don't know, but Houston don't look too happy. No. I was going to say the last time we saw Scott, Scott was at Fringe Armenia. Grab that chair for me, what, buddy. He wants Scott to grab the chair, but. Scott's in a wheelchair. How yeah, is how's that he going to grab the chair? Get the freaking chair! What, what, what the hell is what this? What the hell? He, he, he walked. What, what the hell's going on now? Either Houston's a miracle he was worker. He's in a wheelchair all night. Wait a minute. Ward's in the ring. Wait, what? Ward's what in the what ring. Oh! Ward's Spears! Cash! What the hell's going on here? Remember, Come Mike on Houston in, made this a no disqualification. <laughs> so everything's Woo. fair. And now. So, with Scott Anderson, the asshole. Scott wasn't hurt. Yep. And now it's a three on one assault. Oh! Cash down. Well, Houston beats on him with a chair. This isn't fair. This is a heavyweight championship match. Scott. What is Ward and Scott Anderson doing? So now you got, yeah, you got Ward, Houston, and Anderson just beating Cash down. Hold him up now! Hold him up! I, I just can't believe that all night Scott Anderson was coming out of wheelchair yeah, and, the, and he just gets up like there's nothing wrong. And what can the ref do at this point? Oh! A clear hit to the head to Kyle Cash from Mike Get Houston. Up. And now he's Cash saying is, more. Houston Cash is motionless. more damage. Put Come on! What is wrong with Mike Houston? This is his own blood. This is his brother. This what is, is he doing? Uh, no! Houston has a problem Hold right bitch. on top Hold of the chair. Grab his arm, Scott. This is... Now count! This is just brutal. One, two, three. This is bullshit. Yeah, we have a new champion. It, it, it seems to be that Mike Houston is yet again... <laughs> 
two times. He has now held the championship, the Revolution Championship, two times in one day. But he couldn't do it by himself. What kind of man has to use other people in different tactics just to beat his own brother? That's the thing. For somebody has to do that, you don't use the word man. He's a coward. I always get the last laugh. You who laughs last, laughs loudest. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah, the I founder. Think, I think the statement should be that we should all be laughing loud at him for the fact that he can't even. This right here is the future. Mike Houston saying that. Come on, Ward. He's calling that. Oh he's my calling, God! He's calling Ward the future. He's picking up. Come on, this match is over. Oh, and he lays out cash for the title. I'm sick of this! Abuse of power! Hear me? Abuse of power! Somebody needs to take my abuse and put him in check. Somebody, anybody! I don't care if it's one person, I don't care if it's five, or ten, or the whole locker room. Let's go! We got a party! We got a party. We got a party, eh? Don't on where to go. What are they gonna do? Watch Battleground and drink some wine coolers? Probably. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for the call. Your new champion, Mike Houston. I have the power. Nobody else does. I have it. It's mine. Lead the way, gentlemen. Lead the way. Well, it looks like that's going to do it for New Horizons. Thank you, I don't Johnny, hear anybody. If this is supposed to be what we're going to expect with this company, then this is going to be dark days for Revolution Wrestling. Very dark. Until then, this is Kitsego Fieldhouse. I didn't catch your name. It's Dangerous Dan. Dangerous Dan. That's all right. Have a good night, fans. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see that? We, I told you at the beginning of the show, it's Scott Anderson. Did you see Adam Ward rolled him out in a wheelchair? He sure did. I don't understand it. I don't I, understand I don't. it. And then the cotton picker, uh, tell them about the match. I tell them right now. So, uh, Mike asked Scott Anderson to get a chair. Scott was in a wheelchair. Uh, so uh, Anderson um, got up. Dang. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He's sitting there faking it and saying, it was. And, and hold on, I'll finish telling the match. Anderson got up and gave Mike the chair. War Adam Ward was out there, rolled him out there. Mike hit Kyle with the chair, and Adam Ward then hit a wicked spear on Cash from the top rope. Then Mike won the title, and Mike, Anderson, and Ward celebrated. Mike said that Adam and War uh, Adam. Well, who's, oh, Adam Ward. My bad, the Psycho Ward. The Psycho Ward. Yeah, and Anderson was the future of Revolution Wrestling. They ain't the future of Revolution Wrestling. Let me tell you and something they, right and, now. Hold on, and they celebrated to close New Horizons. Let me tell you something. New Horizons, the boss man runs that show, and the boss man invented the show. That's the boss man's show, and that's where it's going to be. And I'm tired of Mike Houston running this show. I'm tired of it too, boss man. And uh, you're, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the uh, announcer for this match, Kaseko Fieldhouse. Yeah, he made it. He, he did. made it. Yeah, one he come match. Out. One match. He made it. One match. He come out and announced one match because he he he, he had to hurry. It took him about two weeks to use the bathroom. Sure did. <laughs> really? Two weeks to use that I bathroom. I thought the referee was. Huh? I thought it was the referee. Well, him too. Oh, it was Kaseko? He, so he used the bathroom at Kaseko Fieldhouse Stadium. You're right, right. Really? Right. Yeah, that's what happened. He now, couldn't find the bathroom. Did, did, was he, he in the bathroom or he couldn't find the bathroom? He was in the outhouse. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. He, must, he must couldn't find it because Super Ref locked the bathroom door or something. Something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. It just I, took him that long to use the bathroom. Uh, I guess so. But ladies and gentlemen, before we get out of here, we promised everybody we were going to talk about an upcoming match, match that we hope 
happens. Hope it's gonna happen. You think? I'm, I'm making that match right now. You telling now. Mike Houston? To I'm book telling it. Mike Houston we gonna have that match. You booking? I'm booking this match right now. It's gonna be fill in the blank. Okay. If he gets out of school next week, yep. if he, uh, before when that match is supposed to happen. I uh, might three weeks, maybe maybe two weeks from now. Maybe. Weeks I'm from not now. sure, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we don't have confirmation yet. We'll have confirmation later, but he's got to pass the test. Okay. You know, yeah. he'll get, uh, fill in the blank. Right. Coconut Kelly, um, angry, angry, angry uh, ship man. Okay. Angry. And, yeah, angry. Yeah. And uh, who else? Punch drunk Polly. Yeah, punch drunk Polly. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Yeah, right? bake. Who else? Uh, who else? Uh, I don't know. Who else? Uh, Kaseko Phil Phil House. Yeah, all them. All, all the announcers. Let's just all say all the announcers. Yeah. We're going to have, do you want it to be a battle royal? A battle royal for the golden mic. Last man standing against the golden mic. Mike. And it's the uh, number one the announcer, announcer for the year. For the whole year. For the whole year. Like, number one. Say they're gonna be like Fadaki, number one announcer. Number one announcer. Number one. Yeah, that's, that's number one. They get the golden mic and one hundred million dollars. That's pretty good right there. And I'm giving the million dollars. Really? That's right. That's that'd be a good that'd be a good match right there. That's right. And uh and people out there you need to make it because it's free. It's free. Yeah, and we'll let free. you know today. If you in if you in the Chicago area Go to Revolution Wrestling sh uh, shows if you want to know the address. Uh, go to uh, Revolution Wrestling on Facebook. Like them on Facebook. Send them a message. Ask them what the address is, and they will get right to you. And you can get the address and go for free. For free. They, they got in uh, 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 ringside. Gentlemen. Ringside seats are free, and it's and it's like it's like in your living room seats too. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, it's not no more trampoline anymore. And if you want, it's a real wrestling ring. And if you want to lay on the ground, you can lay on the ground. Exactly, it's free. It's free. The ground is free. Bring your own. Bring, bring your own blanket. Chair. Yeah. No, bring, they got chairs. They got Just chairs. Just bring your own blanket bring if you want to lay blanket. on the ground. Yeah, bring bring your own blanket too because it's getting cold yeah, soon. Yeah, it's getting cold soon. Yeah, so y'all yeah. need that. Yeah. But anyway, just like them on Facebook. Go to their Twitter. Follow them on Twitter. Follow uh, Mike Houston on Twitter. Follow Scott Anderson on Twitter. Follow Kyle Cash on Twitter. Uh, what else? Uh, subscribe to them on their YouTube channel, uh, Revolution Wrestling, uh, on YouTube. And people out there, bring your own, bring the little kids. Because they would enjoy it. They even sign autographs out there. The great stars of Revolution, Revolution Wrestling. Wrestling. Even we'll be there. Sign we'll autographs. sign autographs. Yeah, the big boss man and fat, fat grease. Sergeant at arms. Sergeant at arms. By the way, I'm King Eating Champ, but I didn't bring my belt tonight. Yeah. But I'm King And I'm the cotton champ. picking champ. We just didn't bring our belts, belts tonight because we've been so busy That's this right. week. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been... The second episode of Revolution Wrestling, New Horizons, The Review. So, ladies and gentlemen, we want to let everybody know to have a, ble a God-blessed week. Bless a great week. A That's blessed right. week. And we bless uh, everybody's families out there. God bless everybody. And, uh, right. ladies and gentlemen, we everybody have a good night. Fatback Greasy out.